This time of year, lots of people are going through closets and clearing out what's no longer needed. But have you checked out what's in your freezer lately? Consumer reporter John Matarese tells us how long you can safely keep food frozen. As part of your spring cleaning, you might want to check your freezer. You could have some frozen food that's well over a year old, which brings us to a common question I receive. How long can frozen food last without spoiling? At the Wittekind house, the frozen food can be a little old. Recipe ready. Les Wittekind found a bird's eye bag with a December 2015 date, almost four years ago. The frozen salmon is from 2014, and the ground turkey is almost ready to graduate elementary school. Almost 10 years old, huh? Yes. Les and his wife Mary Ellen contacted us after seeing my report about Chris Wilson, who bought a two-year-old frozen pizza at a dollar store. If it had been from October of 18, I probably would have still ate it. But 17 is, that's just out of hand. But Mary Ellen tells me it was probably fine. And we've never had a problem using it. Mary Ellen tells me it's easy to buy something at the grocery store, stick it in the freezer, and then not realize for a couple of years that it's been back there. She just makes sure the item is not exposed to air. If these bags of frozen foods have any kind of a hole in it, then you've got a problem. So we checked with the USDA, which sets food safety standards. It suggests you eat hamburger before four months, fish six months, pie eight months, chicken breast nine months, whole turkey or steak 12 months. But in a deep freezer, the USDA says food can last decades, saying food stored at zero degrees should last indefinitely. Only quality suffers with long-term storage. Mary Ellen says she's never had a problem. Seems to be okay. One caution, the USDA says frozen food for the long term should be kept in a deep freeze at zero degrees, not your kitchen freezer where the door opens five times a day. So stay safe and don't waste your money. I'm John Matters, News Channel 5.